Hey coach, it's Bryce with Synergy. I'm back with a few more quick hitters regarding the game tab on Synergy. So when you log into Synergy and you click on game, um, whatever filters you uh, have set, I have college women 23, 24, um, and I have division one selected. So whatever filters you have will be the games that are populating. Uh, and again, you have these different buttons up here to choose if you wanna see your favorite players, teams, or your favorite teams in general. Um, but I have this particular filter open right now. And one thing a lot of coaches don't realize is you can actually search within this view. So instead of using the global search view, maybe there's a specific team that you just uh, decide you want to search up right now. Um, and you know a uh, part of their name that is very quick and easy to understand. So we'll go Billikens. I want to watch some St. Louis film just like that. Um, it should be every single St. Louis game because I've typed in Billikens right here. So that's a quick and easy way to get a little bit of a different sort of view of games, including all these different categories here, points, rebounds, and sort of see some trends that might be relevant to you as you're doing your scouting. So that's the first quick hitter is using this search tab once you've done some filtering in this games view. It also works for the players view and the team view as well. All right, moving on to the next quick hitter. We're actually gonna go into a game. So I'm gonna delete that search, go back to the top. One little thing you can kind of see here, it's a little hard to see, but um, these little blue lines will show you, like this says March 2024, uh, March 22nd, 24. So there's some relevant information to help you sort of in your scrolling over here on the side, to keep an eye out for as well. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this one right here, this game. And I want to talk about the game flow chart. So a lot of coaches aren't utilizing this a lot like they could be. There's a lot of neat tools here. So for example, if you want to jump straight to just the clips from quarter one, you can click on this. It's a link to that video. Uh, similarly, if you want to jump just to all of Iowa's clips, you can click on this Iowa icon right here to watch just their clips. Each of these is also clips. So it's a great way to sort of keep an eye on what was sort of happening in the flow of this game. And maybe you wanna to jump to this area right here because you can see that's sort of where the tide sort of changed or maybe it's right here. It's sort of a, a way to, to evaluate which, you know, what are the sequences within the game that were leading to, you know, the score changing. And so it's a way to jump into those clips really, really quick. So definitely encourage you to use that Again, use this little link right here. Use these links to jump straight to different quarters as needed. The next thing I want to talk about is down here further in this extended box score is if you don't like this particular view of all data and you want to switch to something more meaningful to you, you can create your own table view or you can jump to some of these pre-made views. So if I just want a basic box score and I really just want to see my team, I can click on Iowa. And then again, I want to see my whole team. I don't want it split. I can go and where's the starters bench, hit combine. So now I'm looking at my whole team for this game. You can see all of my stats in one simple view, just like that. Next quick hitter we're gonna talk about is the shot chart. So we'll go up to back to this game view and I'll see this button right here, shot chart. A lot of coaches don't even know this exists. Um, so really take advantage of it. So when you click on the shot chart, it'll pull up that shot chart for that entire game. So you can choose which team you wanna see their shots. Right now it's set to Iowa. You can go jump in straight to a specific player. So if I wanna see all Kate Martin shots, I can do that. I can also uh, filter to a specific period and then also a specific time. I want to see the last, you know, just the, the first five minutes of the game. Maybe that's important for Kate getting started the first five minutes. Let's take advantage of that. Just like that, as a coach, how useful is that when a player is sitting in your office and you can jump straight to just the shots they took, you know, for any Synergy user in that first quarter in the first five minutes, now you can do that. You can even jump to a specific make or miss or they fouled, all those types of things. So really take advantage of that. Um, and those are your quick hitters for today regarding the Synergy game tab. I hope it helps. Take care, coach.